Morning guys, so it is Tuesday morning and it's my first full day in Anaheim. I arrived here yesterday evening. Um, as you know, I went out for some dinner and had a, uh, was fortunate enough to see the fireworks. So that was uh, Monday night. Um, I'm here all day today, Tuesday, all day tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, and I leave after work on Thursday to head back to Santa Monica. I'm hoping, depending on the traffic, traffic was shocking getting here last night, but if the traffic's okay and I get away at um, an okay time, um, I'm hoping to have time to go down to the pier in Santa Monica on Thursday evening, um, get some footage down there, um, but I will be uh, maximizing my time here in Anaheim when I'm not working. I wanna get out and explore, see what's going on around here. The jet lag is real. Um, got in the bed last night about half 10 and the bed was really, really comfy here at the Fairfield uh, by Marriott, Anaheim, really comfortable, um, nice and quiet. And I woke every 45 minutes until about half past four and then couldn't get back to sleep. So luckily the gym is um, open 24 hours. Um, so I went down there and to be honest, there must've been other people in and go because it was really busy at that time. Well, I say busy, it was only small. There was about three or four people in there and it stayed quite steady. Uh, up until now um, so I'm, I'm at work uh, conference today I'm working all day um, but this evening I hope to go out and have a bit of an explore maybe around downtown Disney um, I'll go to the gates of the parks just check the cost because my plan if everything goes to plan is maybe go tomorrow evening um, after I finish work um, to the Disneyland park which I believe is open from uh, right through until midnight so I'll get uh, more bang from the buck there and more time in the park um, so I'm gonna have a little mooch around this evening um, I'll go for something to eat down downtown Disney um, and I'll vlog that um, and go to the gates of the parks have a look at the gate prices for both parks and one thing or another so I'll put that um, I'll put that footage in, in uh, for you later Good evening so I have finished at the conference um, got straight back to the hotel got chains and head of street out now about 6 p.m. And tonight my plan is to head across to downtown Disney. This is the original thing for hey, right. the original um, Disney Springs, I suppose the equivalent in Florida. Um, and I'm gonna have a little much about down there. Might go to the park entrance to check how much the prices are on the on the gate for each of the two parks um, and then go and find somewhere to have dinner down in downtown Disney see what it's all about so I'll get as much footage as I can um, and I'll get some footage of the dinners of the parks um, and the prices and one thing and all like that and yeah I'm hoping to be back at the hotel in time to see the fireworks from the hotel later um, get a bit of an earlier night so I'll just see how time goes area where the shuttles to the different hotels I'm guessing. Um, there's a Toy Story line on it. <laughs> so I just come in through security there. Seems to be like the main plaza where you enter both parts. I believe one's on the left and one's on the right. And downtown Disney is straight on. So I'll take you over and show you the to Disney's California Adventure first, which is very much like Hollywood Studios from the outside.
So I just been in there and uh, to the ticket booth, um, and it's exactly as I expected. To be honest, it's um, uh, the price we seen online was one fifty nine for the dates. Uh, today and tomorrow is uh, one fifty nine, um, and it doesn't matter what time you go in. Um, even though you could go in all day from the morning from opening, um, or I'm not going to get there until about six o'clock tomorrow night. It's the same price. Um, but the, I'll definitely do the Disneyland Park. Um, it's open until midnight, so I'll get six hours in there tomorrow. It's open until midnight. Uh, Cal California Adventure is only open until 10, so you're definitely going to get more time to do more. And it's a bigger park in Disneyland, so that's where I'll be heading tomorrow. downtown Disney there. Similar to Disney Swing, it's just a bit smaller. They have some live entertainment going on back there. Kids entertainers singing and getting people up uh, dancing and one thing or another. Um, I think this is the, the end of it to be honest. So I'm going to head back through. I'll get a bit more footage on the way through. I'm not sure if I'm going to get some to eat in here, you know. Everything is absolutely rammed and there's big queues. Um, I might head out and go down. I might head out and go down somewhere like Bubba Gump's. Love a Bubba's. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's on the cards actually. If I can see someone nice and easy in the way out, I'll do that. But if not, I will um, I'll go to Bubba's. to that restaurant which is a taco restaurant Mexican um, yeah busy as you'd expect okay this is a queue to get into black town so I have decided on Splitsville uh, for foods, I'm not going to be bowling on my own like Billy no mate, so uh, I'm going to eat the... I was going to walk on past but I seen there was no queue um, so, and I wanted to eat in Disney Springs ideally um, and Knight's Rider and Laura, uh, Andrew and Laura who we watch uh, vlogs on uh, when they come to Florida, they always eat in Splitsville in Disney Springs um, I think they have like a spicy um, sweet and spicy chicken, so that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it a go. It is the most uh, appetizing looking thing on the menu, so I'm gonna have that and give it a go. So, I think that's me done in downtown Disney. Um, it is nice around here, it's a lot smaller than Disney Springs, as you'd probably imagine. But it's super busy again, as you would expect, <laughs> because it's uh, in between the Disney parks. I think everyone finishes in the parks um, or takes a break in the parks, comes out here, has dinner, and goes on. It's coming up to about eight o'clock. What I noticed last night, when one of the parks starts chucking out, which is the California Adventure, um, all the restaurants start filling up even more. There's already queues most restaurants back there, and the other ones in the area will be the same. So. Super excited about tomorrow night to get down there and get into the Disneyland Park. I was having a look at the uh, wait times tonight, and some of the ones you'd expect they really, really don't work too bad. Um, Rise of Resistance was sitting about 35 minutes, uh, Big Thunder Road Railway was 45 minutes, uh, Paris Caribbean was 25 minutes. So I'm just going to get in there as early as I can tomorrow um, and do as many of the key rides that I want to do. The whole way up until midnight and i have a feeling i'll get quite a few done so yeah looking forward to that so i'm just coming through the main plaza here between the two parks um, and as well as loads of people heading up towards downtown disney um, as they're streaming out of disney's california adventure 
there's loads of people going across to the other park. Of course there is. Anyone who has a park hopper ticket can move from one park to the other after, I think it's after midday here, it's quite early. So they'll finish in there at eight o'clock and then walk across the road. So that's, that park is gonna get even busier from eight o'clock onwards. So I'm gonna have to try and key in as many rides as I can between six and eight tomorrow and then just hope for the best. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on the ride times actually now it gets beyond eight o'clock to see if they increase. Um, maybe there's people in there will be leaving at the same time, maybe it'll balance stuff out, I don't know. I'll keep an eye on that and let you know how it goes. Um, but it'll be interesting to see the park, uh, the ride wait times do go up now that the other park closes, see there's people going across and joining that queue. So I'm um, back to the room, um, it's about half past eight. Um, just got back after dinner um, down at Splitsville and um, I'm not tired yet so I'm going to stay stay up and to watch the fireworks and one thing hopefully it'll make me sleep better tonight than I did last night. So uh, the pool's open at 10 o'clock so I've got chains into my trunks um, and I am going to take the GoPro and uh, go down and have a little dip in the pool. It's still nice outside and it's open till 10 o'clock so I might as well go and have a little dip. It's probably the only chance I'll get um, so hopefully get some footage down the pool as well. So just arrived down by the pool. Um, quite a bit of seating, I guess. It's quiet this time around, you can expect. Um, so I've not dipped my toe in yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be nice. Just going to go in. It'll be uh, quite refreshing, uh, no doubt. Just to show you what it's like. So there's a pool here, and there's a hot tub up in that corner there. Um, so yeah. The hot tub. Not sure I want to get in here first, but I feel like I go in here. It's gonna be. It's gonna make the main pool seem really cold. So I'm probably gonna go in here first. I think. So it's not too bad. It's, it's not roasted as you wouldn't expect at uh, half past eight at night. But um, it's nice and refreshing. It's not cold. Um, just nice, I suppose. The towels they give you, they do provide towels around the pool, um, but they're like the little small towels that were in the gym this morning. They, um, they're like no bigger than, <laughs> not much bigger than tea towels or face towels, but I've taken a couple of them just so I can dry myself off afterwards. Um, I'll stay in, have a, have a little swim. And then, um, and then go up and get showered and get ready to watch the fireworks, which I'm looking forward to. So I've just come outside the apartment here to catch the fireworks. It's gone half past nine, so I think it'll be starting any second. Um, uh, I was going to move on up to see if we get a better view, but I'm just going to do it from here, from outside the, uh, the apartment I'm in to see. Oh, there you go. Uh, so that's it started. I'm going to turn it around so we can see. here across the way this is the uh, the courtyard by Marriott and they have a huge big splash area down there with loads of little slides and everything going on. Well, it's cool in there. So hope you enjoyed day two in California, my first full day in Anaheim. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel um, if you'd like to see similar content and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video ever again.
to hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.